Man, what's up, world? It's your boy, the Toothless One, to coming back with another video. On July 4th, 2024, so say Independence Day. What, what are we celebrating again? Some shit happened, what, 300 years ago? 250, something like that? When in today's current time, we're not free at all? You wasn't free to to not get the jab unless you just had the cojones, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> You're not free to not accept alternative lifestyles and marriage. You're not free to, you know what I'm saying? You're not free from your job that you must maintain to barely make ends meet. We're actually, it's actually in Babylon, everything's inverted. We're actually celebrating our own slavery. And on this day when people cook out and get drunk and all this type of shit. Like, like on, on these days, let's say back during the colonial times, right? Where are the people who are coming together? Let's say under the same guise of drinking. Yo, how are we going to maintain or get our independence, yo? Even within families or communities. Is anybody anywhere doing anything like this or having any of these type of conversations that would actually lead to the implementation of that? If, if the people, you know, during the colonial times, you know, the Boston Tea Party, the Red Coats are coming, those type of white folk, right? If they were alive then, they would ask us, what are y'all doing, yeah? The whole give me freedom or give me, uh, or give me liberty or give me death. Do these people even exist in society, even in thought? And I'm just saying, yo, you know, the ways of Rome here in America. You know, the bread and circus, comfort and leisure, apathy, you know what I mean? And then if you have any critical thought or you, you pose these things to the general public in conversation, they look at you like you crazy. Almost like, you remember that scene on Roots, and I keep going back to Roots, where, where uh, of course, Kunta want to get free, you know what I'm saying? But he was like, man, you ain't going to mess this up for me because I think because of his behavior, the white man put the the old black man in charge of the young black man. So if the young black man mess up, he was going to penalize the old black man. So now the old black man got a vested interest on keeping him on the plantation. Message, right? He said, man, you're not going to mess this up for me. He said something to the effect of, these britches I got on came out of boss closet. And twice a year, he give me some of his yak out his cabinet. I ain't got much in this world, but you ain't going to mess so for a pair of britches and to be able to taste some yak twice a year, that's all it takes. Like, they don't give you no whole lot, yo. To maintain a title on somebody else that, and it's beating you down. And that's the only thing that you can take pride in. I cut boss hair. What about you? And I get it. I get it. But my at this stage where we see whether people quantify it to this degree or not, the fall of America. You know what I'm saying? What are we celebrating? I don't know, man. It's just, uh, I don't know, man. And then for those such as myself or of like mine, in your personal life other than online, you got to figure all this out on your own with little to no support or help. When what you're attempting to do or saying actually benefits those you're saying it to. And then depending on how much grounds will you get, the same people you hope that it will benefit will be the main ones in the attempt to stop you. It, this, this, is, this is like the greatest uh, case of Stockholm Syndrome in the history of mankind, you know? And that when you, you begin to identify with, with your captor or your oppressor and you learn to love them and to care for them, this is crazy, yo. I don't know. I just had a quick one, man. This ain't even going to be about too much, man. I'm going to holler at y'all.